Howdy guys and dolls out there in YouTube land, your favorite little keto goofball diamond. And today is day 1342 of my ketogenic journey, going from 311 pounds to where I'm hovering at today. I think they can watch all my videos for proof. <laughs> Love the truck. You might see it as it passes. Did you see it? I don't know. Uh, anyway, sitting here with hubby Mr. KD, and we are going to go get some you know, steak and collard greens, but that's for tomorrow's video. I'm going to show you everything I ate yesterday. I'll be right back with a chit-chat and a weigh-in and Okanda and so much more. Anyway, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and ring that bell. It's time to rant, rave, and misbehave. Keto Diamond style. Keto Diamond style. y'all in the land of schizophrenia today <laughs> I sat with my mother for a little while she always wants somebody to sit down and watch TV with her so that they can see what she sees um, we were watching a game show called 25 words I've never heard of this show before um, but I sit down and watched it with her for a minute she said see there see that I was like oh, uh, see what she said um, that house that they're filming in that was the house you were born in game show set. I mean, you guys can go and Google it and see what it looks like, uh, but it's in no way resembles any kind of house. And she said the house keeps moving around the screen too, the, like the outside picture, and you can see it. I was like, you know, so I started asking questions what the house looked like, because I, I mean, I can't see it, you know. And I knew it was one of them old, uh, it's called, a, they always referred to them as the Milton Road houses. Um, the old mill house. Yes, yeah, just an old mill house, didn't even have a bathroom, they had outhouses, and that's where they lived in place when I was born and then like I guess before I was three or four we moved into a regular house with a bathroom and all that good stuff so uh, <laughs> they did have water and the kitchen sink and all that so it's a whole thing but you know that was just the first thing and uh, a few minutes later I had to walk down and pick up a package out of the yard uh, and she came outside and she was terrified absolutely scared and it told me and my dad we need to get our guns out and um, that somebody's out here and we've been out in the yard for a little while at that point there nobody was out there obviously and the dogs were relatively calm except for my dog got too close to the back room that the other dogs in that they like to fight but they couldn't so there was a room in between them but uh <laughs> buddy was barking and jake was barking so it scared her and I'm a little concerned. I asked, you know, I asked my dad to make sure that any weapon he owned was locked away. He said, yeah, he done done that. And I had mentioned it the other day, too, just to make sure. Um, but she's really... Oh, she called me, like, 2 o'clock this morning and asked me. It was about 3 o'clock. Yeah. She said, are you in it? I was like, uh, what? And she said, are, are you in it with your daddy? Your brother is and your sister is. Are, are you in it? In what, Mama? I don't understand. What are we doing? Uh, what are we supposed to be doing? And she said, "You know, your daddy's got that kid in, in uh, at the beach." It's like I remember the incident she was talking about. I was probably seven or eight. We were down there, and there was a boy that looked like my older brother sitting down um, on a bench, and sitting kind of like he does. And um, I said, "Look, Mama, he looks like Johnny," and she. <laughs> She, later, she said, you know, I wish I had asked that boy who his parents were because uh, he looked like he could be related. So, I mean, I remember the situation, the, the incident, and but her old, her little brother actually looks just like my brother. In fact, one time we saw him coming off one of my other uncle's porches on the other side of the family, and I was like, what's Johnny doing in Salisbury? And it was not Johnny. It was um, her brother, George. <coughs> So, I mean, as far as we knew, because at the time she had not met George yet, the boy we saw sitting on the bench and at the beach could have been her own brother. Um, her, it's a half-brother, but on her daddy's side. So, mm -hmm. uh, and then she was trying to convince my dad that he had twins and that he had been lying to her all these years. And 
I mean, I don't know what she saw. Oh, and when she was on the porch, she's like, y'all done it to yourself. I don't know nothing about you, but y'all done it to yourself. And she was crying. I was like, well, what, what did we do? She's like, I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to the TV. I was like, but you're on the porch. It's, it's a whole thing. And again, if for anybody who's wondering why we don't get her help, I have contacted my doctor. I have contacted other people. There's nothing we can legally do until she does something that puts herself or other people in danger. So, you can't force a person to get medical treatment, even for schizophrenia, even when they're seeing things. Um, it literally has to be a dangerous situation. Shows how flawed the system is. The system is very flawed. Because, well, I mean, they gotta hurt somebody before we're willing to help. Yeah, or get close to it anyway. Instead of helping them before they hurt somebody. <clears throat> I mean, so, I mean, if you could just get a doctor out here to talk to her they could see what we were, we were talking about. So, I mean, I can't, there's nothing we can physically force to be done. Um, although I, I have gotten an idea of, I might go ahead and talk to the magistrate, like pre-talk to him. I've heard that you can do that to let them know the situation. That way, if something big does happen, let's say she calls the police again. Uh, she, the last time she, she called 911 was just so she could get out of her phone to, she believed somebody was blocking her from getting out. Um, but I might be able to talk to him like that way in case something does happen, they'll have it on record somewhere that this is a situation going on and it could escalate. So you know, that way the cop knows when to come out that she's right, that she's like, right, right. she's losing it. So and I really wish we could get her some help because I hear some of those medications are helpful. Oh, oh, y'all. So I know I only know one medication my grandmother was taking, and that's my mom's mom. Who, again, if you're, you're new here, she passed away in a mental institution. I only knew one name because when I was 17 months old, I overdosed on this medication because her nurse had left it out on her bedside table. I took it and I died. Um, they got uh, the hospital whole, fixed it. I was the hospital stay, this whole thing. Um, I'm, of course, I don't remember any of it. I was 17 months old. But it was called Thorzy. So I, I looked up Thorzy. My mom always said it was a powerful sleeping medication. No, it was not. I mean, it could help you sleep, but it, it was a schizophrenia medicine back in the 50s. So, yeah. That uh, definitely most likely is why my grandmother was institutionalized. Uh, it can be genetic. There can be factors that cause it or set it off. Um, and sometimes you'll have identical twins, and one of them will have schizophrenia and the other one will not. Although the, the identical twin has a 50% 50 50 percent chance higher of getting it um, if their sibling has it. So it's a whole, it's a whole thing, but it affects women worse than men, apparently. Uh, so, yeah, I just thought I'd give you that update. <laughs> so I just want y'all to know there's ambulance. Sorry, babe. I want to make sure I get stopped. His brakes are different than mine. So like the van brakes, you have to press them and mash them before they are, they're, you're gonna stop. These are the more sensitive ones. So if I try to do what I do with my van in this, you're gonna jerk. Uh, and sometimes you're people are jerk. driving. You're a jackass, but I love you anyway. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd give y'all an update on that. I did not hurt your feelings. And if I did, you better stop being such a little sensitive meanie. You hurt my feelings again. <laughs> Here, I'll fix it. Turn around, start play. <laughs> no, it's not. You leave my boobs alone. I mean, I'm still... I don't even know what to do with that. That's all. And, and all I can do is kind of... It's not a light situation, but to keep myself in check, I have to kind of make light of the situation when I can. Although, it, it, I don't see it ending very well at all. Um, I see it getting much, much worse before we can get any sort of solution to make it better. So, yeah. But, let's talk about keto, because that's why most of you tune in. But I do tell every, pretty much every aspect of my life. Not most of them tune in to see what's going on in your crazy life. <laughs> Probably. Uh, wow. Well, uh, but, uh, keto-wise. Let me tell you the stupid stuff I did this morning. Because technically I weighed in, but technically I didn't. Um, I got up this morning and I, I went to pee and I went, stepped on the scale. And then I realized that I had to poo. 
and I was like, oh, it'll be even lower, so I'll record in a minute. So I went to the bathroom, which didn't really do me any way, any good, because nothing happened. <laughs> I had the need, but not the ability. Um, and I took a shower. And then I was like, crap. And by the time I got back on the scale, I was up a little bit further. I was up. Uh, but when I initially weighed in, I was 0 0.2 less than what I'm going to show you, but yeah. I think it's the meat in which I'm getting ready to eat some more meat, but usually steak kind of slows the digestion. Steak, heavy cuts of uh, cheese, um, dense meats, they, they're harder to digest, which means you're going to hold more human waste until they're completely ready to leave the body. So, yeah, there's that. So, and you already packed up, so you going to go eat more? <laughs> yes, I am. But I'm going to eat it with collard greens, so hopefully that'll push it on through. Okay, so we're here. Uh, let me go ahead and show you everything I ate yesterday and the weigh-in from yesterday. And remember when I initially weighed in, I was 0 0.2 lower than that. So I'm breaking a 20-hour fast at 4 p.m. with six Applegate chicken sausages, the chicken and herb, two slices of American cheddar cheese with the, the white American, and two bubble yellow eggs, so they're gonna pop my, put the pork in. Besides how the rest is coming. Give me a yummy frozen performance nut butter after my meal. And some uh, hot wings let's go, let's go and ranch. 164.6. All right, y'all. So as you can see that you can't see that I was down 0 0.2 this morning. Again, I think it's a bathroom issue and hopefully that'll clear out very soon. A lot of people, and I know that it's not just me, but a lot of people are kind of stalled right now. And um, it, it's, it's a mini combination thing with what we're eating, the choices we're making, potentially fast foods, um, heavy meats like that, and just various things. But, um, and cheat meals, of course, here and there, and keto treats and sweets and all that. But it's also, I'm also wondering if it's not the cooler weather since, I mean, it's so many people. So let's just see what happens as it warms up because I am curious, because we gonna be losing a lot of water weight as the summertime hits, I think, especially us in this high building, you know? So we'll find out, <laughs> we'll see what it does. Let me know if you have noticed any difference in how you've lost weight within the winter time, the springtime, summertime, fall time. Is, have you noticed any variation of, of weight loss there? I am curious because I have heard of such a thing, but um, up until the last couple of years, I wouldn't have thought so. And also, I feel like I haven't lost any weight in like two years, pretty much. But there, there were some memories that popped up from two years ago of me holding Anthony when he was a much tinier fella. And I was much, much thicker right here at least. So I, there, there's definitely been changes, but not marked huge ones, you know what I mean? So, been changes, but not all that I want, so... I hope you guys are ready for the drag down. Uh, <laughs> the next three days will be working, so videos will probably be short and sweet, and hopefully they'll come every night, and then I'll try to go to bed, so we'll see. If the girls want to weigh in, I'm going to save the next segment for them. We'll be right back. Baby Anthony and Athena, a new little swings, and we put a better swing up for Zach. The one that came on that was like hard plastic, straight, and you slide off of it all the time, so this one matched it pretty good. And we put it up there. <laughs> but yay. I think it's cute and I can't wait to see them all play. Mama. I'm Mama. Hi. I'm Mama down there on the porch too. Hi. Yeah, Bob. Can you say blue? Right about what? Uh, about this? Uh, about this? Here goes Anthony Hatch on her. All the bubbles just popping on me. <laughs> <laughs> They're coming back to you. <laughs> You're too rough, dude. So, I can do it, Carmel. Well. Did we weigh in today? Yes. What did we say? Um, I was 282.4, which is 0.6 down from yesterday. I can. And that's good, right? Yes. 
Yay. Why wouldn't down be good? Do you want to tell him what you ate? Uh, I'm a ball patch. I can't remember what I ate, honestly. I can't remember. Can you remember? Yeah, I, I know I ate everything keto. I just don't remember what it was. Yay. Well, so I got several packages and a letter in the mail. We're going to check all this out. One of these things I know I ordered, and that should be the brown Amazon package. This other one. Oh, I know what this is for. for. Uh, it should be something for the babies. For one of the babies. Maybe better. Can't remember. Oh, I think that's... Okay, it's something for Athena and Anthony. Okay, so... Let's see what this is. It looks like, you know, a this. Oh, how sweet. It says, I am one. That is so adorable. I think it's going to ruin that really quick. <laughs> but that's what babies do, right? It doesn't have a letter. She ordered it straight from uh, the children's place. So order summary. Blue shirt. Dude, I'm too. <laughs> and you, you know what? I actually say that to his dad a lot because his dad thinks he should know more than he does. And I'm like, dude, he's too. I mean, you know what? Um, all right, so let me open the letter. And it's from Miss Deb. Pretty sure. I'm going by the last name if I'm right. Envelopes. Tricky business, huh? It's a little card. Alright, let's see what it says. Oh my god. Hold on, I'll check this out. <coughs> okay, so um, those pink work boots, you stink, by the way. Terribly bad. I don't know what you ate, but you've never eaten it again. Really? <laughs> <laughs> and that's what they do. They stink up the car and then they giggle. <laughs> See? Alright. Um, hey, you didn't even have to do this, girl, but I do appreciate it. And I will go on Amazon tonight and buy me some new shoes. Um, work boots. Pink boots were returned. Thank you for letting me know. I have enclosed replacement money for them. Maybe it will come in handy for your bathroom. Oh, okay. Remodel. I love seeing the joy and fun you and Corey have together. All the best, Deb. I think it says Denver. You from Denver? Yes, Denver. <laughs> Wasn't positive what that word said. Um, she sent me hundred dollars to replace those boots with, which they didn't even cost. I, I, I greatly appreciate it. I will definitely put that to good use. It will go in my purse right now. And like I said, I'll probably be hitting Amazon tonight and getting me a pair of work boots. I like the shoes I got, but they're already coming apart. So, and they were second hands. So. Anyway, thank you guys. Some. Oh wait, y'all might want to see what I ordered. Let's go ahead and show you what I ordered. Put this money up before I forget it and lose it. Don't hold it. Uh-huh. Hold it right into that wallet of yours, won't you? Mm -hmm. no, I saw it. I worry about it. I know where his wallet stays all night. <laughs> Alright. It's not like I can't rob it anytime I want to. She had bought one of these and lost it at work. What the heck? I guess it's something weird they package it with. Yeah, I lost it at work and I decided to look on Amazon and see if I couldn't find a better made one, a thicker one. And it's not thicker. <laughs> it looked much bigger on Amazon. Alright, so it's an anklet, but it was supposed to be a thick chain thing. It looked thick. I feel robbed, but it's alright. I'll still rock this one. I hate that that anklet fell off there at work because I could not find it no matter what I did. I swept and everything over there. Just gone. 
but it's what they call a Figaro chain, or at least I think that's what it's called. Um, pretty, shiny, not as big as I thought it was going to be. Sorry, either. Hmm. Don't put it on my toes. Put it over on my ankle, you goober. Wait for hubby to put my ankle on. Don't you even try. I'm not that fat. I ordered one that was supposed to be big enough for me. Yeah, I think they sent you the wrong one. Yeah. Here, you hold that in. Hold this in. No. Maybe I'll do it myself. It shouldn't get snagged on anything. No, but if I flex, it will pop it. Don't flex. Don't flex. Ha! No, it's not tight when I flex either. There we go. It's right there. <laughs> Got a little room. Flexing should be all right. Boy, I didn't think that was going on. <laughs> I thought you needed to lose more weight. Oh. Y'all know he deserved it. Uh, you like your shirt in the bubbles? Do you like your shirt? Bubble? Oh, shh. Jake, Jake. Uh-oh. Jake, Jake. Is that my puppy? Do we love Jake, Jake? She was just hug. giving him hugs, big hugs, around the neck, too. Okay, now, come here. Give Jake a hug. She hugged his butt. <laughs> Yo. She's she knows her Jake-Jake. Jake-Jake? That's right. Oh, God. <laughs> Every time she pats him, it's kind of like scratching his butt, and he's like, yeah, turning around in circles. As you guys, y'all know the routine. If you need help with your uh, keto journey, my contact information is below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, ring the bell, and check the description. There are cool ways to support the channel and some cool things you might want, but you don't necessarily need. So check those out. By the way, Destiny update, she went down. She's just busy right now. Much love, many prayers. Bye!